Okay, I'm just going to grab the front one and drag it forward. Now, these don't have to be perfect by any means. I'm just going to press 3 for side view. And, okay, let's get an idea where I'm at. I'm just going to left select these. And this front edge here and press E to extrude. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to press S and just scale that in. Okay, I'm just going to grab this in the Z and drag up. I'm just going to grab the top two and drag these up like so. Again, I'm just going to select left, select by pre and pressing shift and select these edges and just press F and fill this in. Okay, let's drag that forward slightly. Just going to grab this top one and drag it forward. Okay. Now I'm just going to press and hold tab or alt, sorry, and left select this edge here. I'm just going to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press E to extrude and just press Z just to make sure it comes up in the Z. I'm just going to press S and scale this in. Left click and I'm just going to drag this back. Let's drop it down a small bit. I'm just going to press S to scale Z and 0 just to flatten that out a little bit. Okay. going to grab this here and maybe drag it back slightly and down and the same with this one just drag it back okay probably not the best looking shoe in the world but again it's not too bad looking I'm just gonna press and hold alt and left click I'm gonna press 3 okay I'm just gonna drop this down drag this back slightly and again, I'm just going to press E and I'm going to press Z for the Z axis. And maybe just bring that up to here. Okay. Now I'm just going to press and hold tab or alt, sorry, left select this edge here. And I'm going to press S to scale and X for the X axis and just bring that out and give it a little bit of body at the sides and I'm just going to grab this edge here and drag this back slightly okay and you can just fool around with these edges until you're happy with this shape I'm just going to press a once or twice to, to bring everything up highlight everything I'm going to press T and I'm going to come over here to shading UVs and just left click recalculate okay I'm just going to press T to hide that okay that's not looking too bad I can always make some modifications if you want to round out some of these points you can just press control tab left click vertice, vertex and just grab some of these edges and make them a little bit rounder but it's up to yourself whatever you think looks better for the particular shoe you're modeling Okay, that's not looking too bad. I'm just going to press the backspace key and bring everything back. Press Z, and bring back to solid view. I'm going to press 3. I'm going to press A once or twice and just grab this in the Y and drag it back to the center. I'm going to press 1 for front view and maybe just drag it over slightly press 3 again it's a little bit different than the shape of this shoe but this was only an outline so I'm not going to worry too much I'm going to press S to scale maybe Y for the Y axis and just give it a bit, little bit of length okay press 1 again and just just drag it in you can always press Z for wireframe and if this is too large just press and hold alt and just press S and just scale it in slightly press Z for solid this part of the mesh I'll probably end up using this as his pants rather than his skin so it's it's a good measure for where the, the boot is at this moment okay what I want to do now is I'm just gonna press T and I'm going to go to object mode and with this selected I'm actually going to smooth it so left click smooth 
Okay, just press T now. And if there's any modifications to be made to it, it can be made in edit mode. I want to join it to the main mesh. So it's important to select this first, press and hold shift and select the main body. I'm gonna press control J to join. Okay, and that pops the mirror on <clears throat> and a boot arrives at the far side. Okay, so I'm just gonna press control S and left click save. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Today I think I'm going to model his ear or his both his ears. Okay, so I'm just going to press 3 in this view here and zoom in. I'm going to press control tab and left select face. I'm going to select the two faces that are more or less in the position of his ear and press delete and left select that okay now I'm going to press Z and left select solid shading I'm going to press control tab and left select vertex I'm going to select individual vertices here and basically just shape out his ear roughly so I'm just going to drag them in the Y direction. I'm just going to select them, drag them, and basically just block out the shape that I think his ear is going to, or needs to look like. And this will probably deform the mesh slightly around his ear, but that can be, that can be fixed at a later date. Okay, it probably doesn't have to be as large as the actual outer part of the ear is is going to be. This is going to be the, the beginning of the extrusion. And it's normally a little bit smaller or quite a bit smaller. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. Okay, I can probably start with this okay I'm just going to change to edge selection mode so I'm going to press control tab and left select edge I'm going to press alt press and hold alt and left select this entire edge okay I'm just going to come over here and press one for front view and again I'm in orthographic and you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by pressing five on the keypad Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude and just slightly bring this out and left click to lock that in. And I'm just going to come over here to the side view and press S and maybe scale that in. Okay, left click to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and press E to extrude again. And just drag out, left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press R slightly to rotate. Might just press Z and bring up wire frame for a second. Okay. I'm going to press E to extrude and right click the mouse to cancel that. I'm going to press S and I'm going to scale this up. Okay, maybe to about there. Left click, lock that in position. I'm just going to press Z and left select solid give a better view okay I'm gonna press E to extrude from this point and just drag this out and okay left click and I'm gonna lock that in position there I'm just gonna press control plus and I might just drag this back a little bit and maybe just press R for rotation and left click lock that in and just grab this and drag it back okay probably to about there okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around i'm going to press and hold alt and left select this outer edge and i'm going to press one again to go back to front view okay what i'm going to do is rotate this on the z axis 
So I'm just going to press R for rotation, Z for the Z axis, and what I want to do is twist it back around, yeah, ever so slightly. So I'm just going to push the mouse forward and up, and left click, lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press E again to extrude and just drag this out and left click, lock that in. Okay, I might just press and hold the middle mouse button here and rotate and just have keep an eye on this in the 3D view. Okay, that will do for the moment. I'm going to press E to extrude and right click to cancel that. I'm going to press S and just scale this in. Left click to lock that in. Just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Okay. I'm actually going to turn on the screencast keys. Very important. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude, right click to cancel, and S scale that down and I'm just going to push that in there slightly okay I'm going to come over here and just press 3 for side view I'm going to press E to extrude right click to cancel and just press S and scale this down okay to about there left click to lock that in I'm just going to press F to fill that up I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and rotate around. I'm going to press Control Tab and left select Face Selection Mode. I'm going to select this face here and press E to extrude and just drag this forward. Okay, I'm just going to press 3 here quickly on this one. And I'm going to press R to rotate just turn this up maybe not too much maybe just drag it back a little bit okay I'm just gonna grab this and drag it down whatever you think looks right on your own character okay I'm just gonna grab that center press E to extrude and just push it in there slightly okay and just drag it down it's gonna select these edges here or these faces I should say and just push them in slightly the ear is an awkward one to model okay a little bit odd. I'm going to press Control Tab and left select Edge Selection Mode. I'm just going to press and hold Alt and select this entire edge around here. I'm just going to drag this back in. It looks too far out. Okay, to about there. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Press and hold Alt and I'm going to drag this, give it a bit of bit of volume okay just gonna press 3 gonna press control tab select face so I'm gonna grab this here and press G and just drag it up and I'm gonna press R and I'm just gonna rotate slightly like so and I'm just going to grab this back face and just drag it out and press R again just to rotate maybe just drag it up into Z a small bit grab this one here drag it down press R for rotate okay it's not looking terrible bad Just going to press and hold shift and select all these edges coming around here. And I'm just going to press E to extrude and just.